welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Cameron and today we're going to be tinkering on this beauty back here. It's a 2003 CR250 that I've been building and today we're going to be discussing one of the biggest issues with these bikes and that is how the air boot seals to the air box. A lot of you have probably heard of this. It's a really crappy design and could lead to a serious engine failure. So definitely worth looking into. So the problem with this design is that all that seals the boot to the air box is this little foam gasket and that's definitely not enough. So when you tighten the screws that hold the boot onto the air box, the boot will actually warp, maybe not quite to that degree, but it'll uh, create a gap there and that allows air and more importantly dirt to go through there and into the engine. This design was used on the 02 to 07 CR250s, which I have here, and also on the 2002 to 2007 CR125s as well. So if you have either of these bikes, definitely something you want to consider. There's another issue with this design as well, and that's inside the air box. There's all these little nubs where the air filter sits on the air box and it's supposed to seal right there. And obviously having those nubs doesn't create the best seal. And a solution for that is a gasket called the Pro Seal. It's like a rubber or foam type gasket just sticks to the air box. You can see it's a little bit thicker and has all the cutouts for the nubs. So basically just raises up that surface there to the top of the nubs and allows the air filter to seal a little better. And later in the video, I have a better kind of more permanent solution for that. This is kind of a quick fix, but I'll link this little gasket down below in the description. Now the most important issue here is the air boot to air box seal. So I'm gonna discuss the three solutions I have for that. And the first one being the cheapest and easiest way to fix it. And that involves using some Permatex liquid gasket or like gasket maker. This is the ultra black. Basically what we're gonna do here is put a generous amount on the lip here, all the way around the air box. And then we're gonna mate up the boot onto there. Let it tack up before tightening it down. Let's see what the uh, instructions say here looks like it tacks up in an hour and then you want to let it dry for 24 hours before use so once again get the sealant on there put up the boot but don't tighten it down all the way let it dry for an hour and then snug it all the way down with the screws and that's not going to be a hundred percent guarantee that it's going to seal and last but literally it's like a five dollar solution and i've heard of a lot of people having good luck with this basically you want enough sealant on there to when you put the boot on it oozes out the edges just a little bit but keep in mind this isn't going to be the cleanest or prettiest solution but it's effective now the second solution is a bit more involved but the end result is a lot cleaner and it's more effective so the basic concept here is to adapt an air boot and the air filter mounting plate from a 97 to 99 CR250 onto this air box. That design was a lot better and pretty much foolproof. It's something that Honda should have stuck with. So how we do that is by cutting out the center portion of the air box here, dropping that out, and then the 97 to 99 air boot has a dual lip. This has an extra flap that comes out. One lip goes on the inside of the air box and one goes on the outside. So it's like the perfect seal. And I don't have a dual lip air boot to show you guys what that looks like. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see. And as far as the air filter mounting plate, it's metal and replaces this cheap little plastic one inside here. So it's not gonna flex like this one does. And then it has studs that come through and bolts the air boot onto it. So a really solid solution, but it takes a little bit more time and you have to find the 97 to 99 air boot, the air box and all the components inside as well. And I'll actually drop a link down below that explains more about this setup. It has pictures, uh, a write up. This is a really comprehensive tutorial on how to do this modification. Keep in mind, this mod only works for the CR 250s because the air boot only fits on the 250 carb and not the 125 carb. Now the third solution and the one we'll be using is this one that has aluminum plates. One goes on the inside of the airbox, one goes on the outside. And in my opinion, this is the most effective way and you don't have to do much in the way of cutting. So the basic idea with this solution is you have two aluminum plates, you bolt them together with the air boot in between. They're obviously not gonna flex, they're pretty thick and they're not gonna create any air gaps between the air boot and the air box or between the air filter 
And then on top of that, you shave off these little nubs inside that I was talking about earlier. And that creates a good seal between the air filter and the air box. And before we get started, got to make sure all of the old sealant, gasket, dirt, grease, all that stuff is off the air box and the air boot. Now the first step is to drill out all the mounting holes for the air boot. And the size we're using is a, a 257, so 0.257 inch. It's uh, one size up from quarter inch. So we're gonna drill all the way through these holes. Obviously try to be as straight as possible. And all the way through the nub on the other side. Since the air box already has little holes there, those will act as pilot holes and that should make it pretty easy. After drilling, you're gonna have some burrs around the holes. So you wanna trim those off with a scalpel or a razor blade and make sure all of these nubs are the same height when you're all done trimming. So now the hole should look something like this. Now the next step is to go inside the air box and trim off these nubs that we drilled through. You wanna trim them all the way down to the surface. You don't want anything poking up. Got all the nubs shaving down, not the tidiest job. Kind of takes a while, especially with these lower ones. It's pretty tough to get down in there, but the tool I found that works best for this is this little scalpel. I'll link it down below. It's pretty nice for uh, shaving gaskets too. Gonna to go ahead and test fit the plate, make sure it's a snug fit. Sweet, make sure all the holes line up. All looks good. Now before I slap this together, I'm gonna to coat these plates black. I want them to match the air box. I think that would look pretty good. The plates are looking good, all done with Cerakoting. And now we can slap this whole kit together. So we're gonna put sealant on the inner lip of the air box here, as well as this lip around the outside. And then sealant's gonna go on this side of the ring too, as well as the inner lip of the air boot. The sealant should look something like that when you're finished up. Every bit of that surface should be covered and then the inside of the air box should have a nice fat bead all the way around as well. Just gotta make sure there's no way dirt can get through that. Now I'm gonna get this plate set in place in the air box and then get to work sealing this side. All right, I think we're ready to slap this thing together. Just gonna line up the boot here. Gonna start popping in some bolts here, make sure everything lines up. Ah, damn glove got stuck in there. Get out of there. So things weren't lining up the greatest, so what I did was put all the bolts in from the inside, get that inner flange lined up with the air box. And now I'm gonna line up the air boot. Hopefully this works a little better this way. Honestly, this outer plate really isn't lining up too good. Four of the holes look like they're fine, but this fifth hole right here is a little bit off and that's holding us up from being able to put this together. Looks like I got it lined up right now. If I can get this one on, the rest of them should be pretty easy. Got that one lined up. This one looks like it'll go. All right, so we got all the bolts lined up. Took a bit of work to get them to go, but I would recommend doing these two bolts first. These are the harder ones. Once you get those lined up, the other three should be pretty easy. So now that we've got all the nuts on, I'm gonna tighten them all down evenly. So I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern here, kind of like you're tightening a five lug wheel.
Got everything tightened down and looking good. And within an hour before that sealant starts to dry, you wanna clean up the excess around the edges. Looking pretty trick. Now for the filter cage, you wanna make sure that it fits snugly against this inner flange. You don't wanna see any air gaps there. Looks like it's pretty tight seal all the way around. Won't need to do any trimming to get it to fit better. So that looks like a go. I think we're all set. So just let that RTV sealant dry for 24 hours before using the air box. And then when you put an air filter on, you wanna grease the inner lip here, uh, the air filter where it fits against the air box. So that'll ensure even further that no dirt gets past your filter. The very last thing I wanna do with this air box is make it look good and keep it looking good. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these scratches, the sun fading and kind of pitting back here. So I'm gonna hit it with like 800 grit sandpaper just for a little bit and then finish it off with this Cerakote trim coat. This will give it a nice shine and it says it lasts for up to 200 washes. So let's give it a shot. I've got the air box all sanded down. Now before that coating can be applied, the air box has to be cleaned with dish soap and completely dried. There can't be a speck of water on it. So basically just wipe down the air box with the cloth inside and then to give it a consistent finish, you just wipe it in the same direction like this to finish it up. Alrighty guys, airbox is all finished up, looking absolutely amazing. Honestly looks better than new and works better than new too. So like usual, I will have all the products I use throughout the video, including the aluminum plates, the Cerakote, the trim coat, all linked down below in the description for you guys to make it easy. And one thing I didn't mention about the trim coat, it's a ceramic coating, so it has anti-stick properties. And you guys know how dirty the inside of these airboxes get over time. So I actually think the trim coat will help keep them clean. I'll keep you posted if that works or not. Here's another look at the finished product here. Literally looks brand new. This stuff is freaking incredible. Definitely worth a shot. And I believe Cerakote offers a free sample on their website. If I can find that, I'll drop a link down below. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. And like always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and share it. I really appreciate that. So expect to see a lot more videos with the CR250 coming out pretty soon. In the next couple of weeks, we got some really cool parts showing up. So that thing should be done sooner than later. I'm excited. That's all I got for you today. Till next time, keep it prime.